I am back. Hey, what's up, you guys? We about to get on Gandala. Yes, I think you guys have been enjoying the cheese series. So guess what? I'm going to show you another cheese spot. Now, I'm playing with that Whitley. That new gun, season two. I saw Jimmy Dean put a video out and melt someone with it. So I had to put it on. I just put it on. This is maybe my third game with it. I slapped those um, double XP tokens on there real quick so I could try to rank it up to put some attachments. I'm not saying this is a best class setup. I don't even know. I just kind of randomly put some stuff on there. So whenever I set a gun up, I try to like limit the recoil on the gun. I need a thermal sight because I can't see anything. But anyway, I got wrecked right when I got to this spot. I'm about to show you guys how to cheese them in the cheese spot. For some reason, I didn't see that guy. But that's fine. So anyway, I'm using this Whitley. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is the bar on steroids, baby. I don't think it has the same range as the bar as far as distance. is. It falls off a little bit with distance. But you're going to see in this gameplay, I'm going to lay people down. Now, once again, what I'm doing is I'm playing smart. I'm looking at the way that team flow. They want to come this way. They can come this way. They can come and play. And they're going to get laid down. Now, what I do is I get up in here. If you notice, I put the trip mine C4 combo. People are asking me, what am I setting down with it? Trip mine C4 blows them up. It doesn't stun them, blows them up. And so right now, I'm just looking right down here. Now, look, I don't open the windows. I know a lot of people like to open the windows. Why? Go ahead and give you a little peephole at an angle, and that way they can't see you as easy. Now, when you get your supply box, which I'm running with, drop it here. You don't want to put it up on you because every now and then people will throw grenades there, and that thing will blow you up. And it'll cheese you. So I like to put it out there in the hallway. I already have one at the bottom. And I have one here. And here's my line of sight. You can totally guard B. Now, the weakness of this is they can noob tube you, throw grenades up. So you got to watch out who you're playing. The times I played this map, it really hasn't been happening to me. I've been laying people down. This is the spot. Now, I can get up here and I can kind of guard here. And you get these idiots that get on the gondola. Now, I'm going to tell you, this map right here is not a rusher map. It's a snipey map. So, watch your head. Keep it on a swivel. Look for that light. They will try to snipe your head off. But right here, you can see when they come up on A. I kill so many people right here in a typical game. Now, once again, I'm watching the way the game flows. Look, I got this turret on the gondola. I am waiting when he comes up. I know he's on there. He's trying to lay down. But guess what? That thing ain't bulletproof. No way. So right now, I'm just going ahead and I'm going to cheese him in a spot. Like I say, I go in right here. Now, I want to talk about something. They put a ball gunner in this game. You know how happy that made me? This game has been failing in so many areas. Like the fact they took out the deaths in the game. Like, do they not realize Call of Duty is about KD for a lot of us? We want to see our KD. A KD is a measurement of improvement. Now they have eliminations. They don't want to show you your death. It makes no sense. They're taking everything out of the game that I enjoy. But it is what it is. But I'm happy they put a ball gunner. And I'm going to tell you why. The streaks in this game, boo, boo. Grade A boo, boo. If you're a developer listening, your streaks are horrible. And I'm going to tell you why. Because there's no reward to streaks here. There's no streaks that make a difference in the game like i'll give an example before i would camp i would get streaks that way you can push people back oh look at that my c4 trip mine combo laid them down and already have another one on deck i'll open my other supply drop make sure i have another one and i'm gonna put the doggies out but let's get back to streaks in past cards i camp i get the highest streaks i can push the team back we win i'm playing objective based games and my objective was to get the streaks to push the teams back well guess what the dogs don't even do that I run cold-blooded. I don't even worry about dogs. When people call dogs, I pet them as they go by. I go, hey, Roro, I'm a dog lover. Now, this is something I don't recommend, but I kind of wanted to do this and cheese them. I noticed they've been running here, so I'm going to put the C4 trip mine combo. But here, this is the danger zone. Watch me slide. Look how many bullets are coming at me. From the other side of the map, you can cheese people in that doorway, and I do that. So if I was on the A side, I would be sitting here cheesing everyone coming out that door. And trust me, it works just as good as this spot. But you're closer. And look at that. All I did was stun a guy. I didn't even get the kill. I wasted my trip mine, but like I say, I got supply, drop, packages, whatever those things coming back left and right. So what I was saying about the score streaks, before I would camp, because I wanted to make a difference as a camper, I wanted to get in, I wanted to push people back. So this guy, I've been camping just for the V2 rocket, but this ball gunner, the night night machine is back, baby. This night night machine makes a difference. Now look, I'm waiting a second. I'm not dropping a trip mine. Nobody's coming up in the Ford Intel, so I know no one's sneaking there, but look, here, here you go. Here's my supply box. I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to protect my back. Remember, I've already got two kills with this supply box. I got this ball gunner. We're losing them bad. Look at the score. 108 to 57. My team's not pushing up. Now I got to give them some night-night machine courage. Look at this guy. Look at this. One nerd. Two nerd. 
I'm telling you, I go in on this. Now, I'm up in this thing, and I'm kind of calling it out a little bit. You might can hear some of the gameplay. I get up in the ball gunner. I'm securing the whole map. Look at this. Look at that dude. Night, night. I'm terrorizing them. This is Call of Duty Ghost all over again, baby, with this helo pilot. They're all cramped up there. Now, I don't get out why people run out. I'm in this night, night machine. Do you want to die? Are you looking in the corner? I'm getting mega kills and double kills. And just going in. See, there's a double kill. Look at these nerds. One, two, three, triple kill, fury kill, mega kill, super kill. At this point, I'm telling my teammates, come on, man, push up and get B. I done got the whole team back there, and I'm laying them down. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm averaging 14, 15 kills. But this was the purpose of streaks, developers. Even when you get these hardcore rushers and they get these advanced UAVs, it was a way of controlling the game. Imagine when you had a power core and advanced UAV and other cars. That stuff was deadly. Look at that kill feed right there, baby. It's just me and the night night machine. Now look at the score. We have control. Look at my teammates on the map. This right part is where they keep coming from. So I got to watch out. So I'm waiting to see if my teammates push up through there. As they push up through there, that gives me more confidence to look this way. Why am I not looking to the right? The mini map, baby. I know these guys are spawning here. And the spawn points are back here. Look, see how I can see them a little bit? That's all I need. If I had my thermal on, I would definitely lay them down. So this is harder for me because I'm colorblind and I really have a hard time seeing across there. So because I'm colorblind, I'm looking for movement. Anything that moves. Like if the game had a whole bunch of flags and stuff, that would totally throw me off. So I'm looking at here like I don't know if that's a person on that corner or not. So I wait for movement. Any type of movement, I'm going to shoot you. And I love the fact that with like snipers, they put that stupid flashlight on there. That helps me as much as it helped them. Now they can come down through here. And you just got to watch. If you see, look at that. See the light? It's a sniper light there, but the gondola blocked him. And guess what? I'm pre-firing before the gondola could come down. That's how you cheese someone. Now, am I reloading a lot? Yes. Why? I'm one of these players. I know my weakness. I get caught with my pants down all the time with the reload, and I don't want to do it. I'm really not paying attention to my bullet management. So I don't know if I have 50, 20. When I'm playing the game, I'm looking at the mini map. I'm watching the flow of the game. Now, right here, I decide to reload, even though I have 40, 50 bullets, because they got the light on there. I can't see them. It seems like for some reason, they can see me through that light and lay me down. I'm on an 18 right now, and I'm guarding that lane, and I'm guarding this lane. As long as my teammates don't flip the spawn, this is easy peasy, and I hope they keep running up through B. That helps me out. If they keep running through B, and you got those campers over on C, because you always have them, that locks the lane down. I know a lot of rushers get frustrated with this map, and it's fine because I'm going to lay you down, but I love these type of guys that want to go for the objective. This is what causes me to do what I do. See, right now, so he threw that fire up in there, which I hate to fire. It kind of blinds me a little too much. And look, I'm cheesing him right through this crack. Now, with the bar, I would have got that kill. With this, like I say, with the long range, it kind of recoils a little too much. And I don't know, maybe when I get to all the right attachments it'll become a laser look there's a guy down there and i don't even mind i'm getting a b right now i'm close enough to the nuke where the score is irrelevant at this point i just need to survive and not die i'm on a 22 look at that guy back there come on 23 i almost didn't get it now i've choked a million 23s so this is where it kind of gets tense for me but at the same time if i want to win this game i'm gonna have to get the nuke because these guys are pushing just enough look at that guy right there a 24 i need one more just one more. And look at this guy right here. This is going to be an easy kill. Okay, maybe that. Okay, here you go. Look at this victim. Go ahead and get B, baby. B is for bye-bye right there. B2 Rocket. And I'm telling my teammates, I'm saying, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Guess what, you guys? We already won the game. And some of these guys were confused. They have never won with a B2 Rocket. So I'm letting them know the game is already won. I'm going to wait to about 180 to call it out. A lot of times I want to see if someone else is streaking. I, I'm not a hater. If someone else is streaking and about to get their V2, I give them an opportunity. And for me, I might as well go ahead and keep getting more kills. Try to get on 30, 40, 50s. But, you know, right now I'm just trying to call it out. Look at this guy. They're coming up. And their confidence is built up. Nobody on in the corner noticed that I was on a 25 streak. You know how it pops up? Like the triple kill. Look over there to the right. Nobody pays attention to that. And a lot of times when I'm playing, oh, look at this. I went to call it in, and they caught the counter UAV up. So I'm telling them someone got to take it out. But you know what? You can't rely on anybody. You can rely on yourself. So, look, I'm going to go out there. I am the man. I don't know how many of these I done shot down. And it's right there. Look, putting bullets down. That, you guys, is the cheese spot. I'm going to call that V2 Rocket in. Let me know what you think of that cheese spot. I'll bring you some more. You guys know I'm, like, mostly retired from Call of Duty. But you guys ask. I do this for you guys. No other reason. For the guys that come to hate, keep hating because Camper Nation will keep camping whether I do videos or not. But this is how you camp this map. This is how you lay it down. I guarantee you work that window right. You're going to get a lot of kills. Whether you get the V2 or not, maybe. But guess what? You get that night-night machine. You see how that changed the whole momentum of the game. 
That one score streak changed the momentum of a game. Listen, Call of Duty developers. That's what we need, babe. Quit giving us this uncheese and give us cheese. All right, you guys. I'm out. I just wanted to drop this on you. Gondola V2 Rocket. I am out. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I dropped 63. That mean I died one time and went on a 63 streak. That's what's up. Ooh, let's go. <laughs>